Hi, I'm Maham Tariq from Skill Curve. What we'll be doing in this hands-on lab? Basically, we'll be moving data from cloud storage bucket of the region US to another cloud storage bucket located in Europe region by creating and running an Apache Airflow workflow in Cloud Composer. Here, you can see the Airflow DAG that will help us do it. First, create a Cloud Composer environment by clicking on Composer in the navigation menu. Click Create Environment and select Composer 1 from the drop-down. Give a name to environment and select a location. Leave all the other settings as default and click on Create. The environment creation process is completed when the green check mark displays to the left of environment name on environments page in the cloud console. It can take up to 20 minutes for the environment to complete the setup, so let's move on to the next step while it creates. Now we'll create a cloud storage bucket. Go to navigation menu, cloud storage browser and then create bucket. Create two multi-region cloud storage buckets. Give them universally unique names including the location as suffix. One located in US as source and the other located in Europe as destination. These buckets will be used to copy exported tables across locations US to Europe. To create BigQuery destination dataset, go to navigation menu and then BigQuery. Create the BigQuery destination dataset using the BigQuery UI. Click the three dots next to your project ID and select create dataset. Name it NYC underscore TLC underscore EU and data location to Europe and then click create dataset. Go back to the composer to check on the status of your environment. Once your environment has been created, click on the name of environment to see its details. Environment details page provides information such as the Airflow web UI URL, Google Kubernetes engine cluster ID, name of the cloud storage bucket connected to the DAX folder and many other things. But before we move on to that, we will need to create a virtual environment. Python virtual environments are used to isolate package installations from the system. Once the cloud shell is activated, run the apt get virtual environment command. If you get permission denied error, then run the command sudo apt get install minus y virtual environment command. After the virtual environment is done creating, the next step is to activate the virtual environment. You can do this with the following command. Now let's explore the Airflow web UI. To access it using the cloud console, go back to the environments page. In the Airflow web server column for the environment, click Airflow. Click on your lab credentials. It will open in a new browser window. Now it's time to set Airflow variables. These are distinct from the environment variables. Select admin and go to variables from the airflow menu bar. Then click on the plus sign to add a new record. Create the first variable table list file path. It contains CSV file listing source and target tables including the dataset. Then again add a new entry GCS source bucket. Cloud storage bucket to use for exporting BigQuery table destination buckets from source. Then the third variable GCS destination bucket to use for importing BigQuery tables at the destination. Now to set up the DAX cloud storage bucket, go back to the cloud console, copy the name of DAX bucket from environment details page and set a variable to refer to it in cloud shell. We'll be using this variable a few times during the lab. The next gcloud composer command executes the airflow CLI subcommand variables the subcommand passes the arguments to gcloud command line tool. To set the three variables, we will run the composer command once for each variable. Environment name is the name of environment. Location is the compute engine region where the environment is located. Key and value specify the variable and its value set. To see the value of a variable, run the Airflow CLI subcommand variables with the get argument once for each variable. After doing this, our next task is to upload the DAG and dependencies to the cloud storage.
copy the google cloud python doc samples files into your cloud shell upload the dag config file to the dag cloud storage bucket of your environment cloud composer registers the dag in airflow environment automatically and dag changes occur within 3 to 5 minutes you can see task status in the airflow web interface Now before we begin the next step let's have a look at the dag code that will drive the apache airflow pipeline three variables table list file path gcs source bucket and gcs destination bucket the read table method reads the master csv file that will help in creating airflow task in dag dynamically it imports four operators dummy operator to create start and end dummy task for better visual representation of dag Big Query to cloud storage operator to export Big Query tables to cloud storage buckets using Avro format. Google Cloud Storage to Google Cloud Storage op operator to copy files across the cloud storage buckets. And Google Cloud Storage to Big Query operator to import tables from Avro files in cloud storage bucket. Dag performs an export from Big Query tables listed in config file to GCS, copies these GCS objects across locations. from us to europe then imports gcs to big query the dag imports gcs to gcs operator from plugins and dynamically builds the task based on the list of tables lastly the dag defines a specific application logger to generate logs to trigger dag manually click the play button for the dag the dag run status turns green once play button is pressed click the name of dag to open dag details page This includes graphical representation of workflow tasks and dependencies. Now in the toolbar click graph view then mouse over the graphics for each task to see its status. Note that the border around each task also indicates the status. Green border means running, red means failed. Now that our dag run is complete, let's go and validate the results. List of tables were imported into the target big query dataset. Click on Big Query, then click on your project name and the data set to validate the tables are accessible from the data set you created. The exported tables were copied from the US bucket to Europe cloud storage bucket. Click on Cloud Storage to see the intermediate Avro files in the source US and the destination Europe buckets. Now that we have validated the results, it's time to delete the resources that we have used in the project. First we'll delete the dataset that we've created then select the checkbox next to your composer environment click delete confirm the pop up by clicking delete again we will also delete the cloud storage buckets that we created in this project as all of these are billable resources i hope you found this lab useful please leave us a comment and share your experience in running this lab with us see you next time